This is Talk 650. This is Talk 650. Powered by CBS Radio. This hour of the program is presented in part by Fit Athletic, and we've always, we've had the trainers on from time to time. Courtney West has been in here. Hillary Hagner has been in here several times. Uh, Mike Lopez. Uh, just a great bunch of guys. And we thought it would be a good idea because Stephen and I work out at Fit Athletic all mm -hmm. the time to have one of the clients on the show, one of the other members of Fit Athletic on the show, and not just anyone, but someone who has taken uh, the workouts to heart and uh, gone out and been very successful with them. And uh, in the studio with us this morning is Priscilla Cintron, who's been working out with uh, Monica Isles, I believe is the trainer you work with, right? Yes, with Monica. And had been training and had been competing, and this past weekend actually competed and won an event that you were involved in. What, what can you describe what that was? Uh, it was the Junior USA's and it was it was basically the first time uh, the Junior USA's done here in uh -huh. Houston. Yeah. And it was a big show. Uh, there were probably more than 100 competitors just mm -hmm. for the bikini class. Um, of course, split it up from shortest to tallest, from A to F. Yeah, yeah. And the category that I was in was B. Mm -hmm. And I got the first place in my class. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. That's very, very good. I know you've been working hard because I'm in there, you know, sweating <laughs> bullets with Miguel because he's like a taskmaster, right? And I need that. And I see, you know, Priscilla flitting back and forth. You know, she's running up and down the, the between the machines <laughs> and stuff, and doing a good job. So uh, congratulations on that. Thank you very much. You know, you, you hear about these, uh, these uh, bikini contests, and unfortunately, that that name has a bit of a, not an accurate uh, <laughs> uh, idea comes to mind when you say, I compete in bikini contests, because in what you're doing in, in fitness competition, okay, you, you got one of those things on, but it's about muscle definition. It's not this, this ogling stuff that you have at the wet t-shirt contest on you know Monday nights at some bar someplace. That is not what you're into, um, because the, the work that's involved to get to the level where you can even begin to think about competing with other figure competitors is astounding. It, it really is. How many hours a week do you put in getting ready for these kinds of things? Um, for this particular one, um, I've been getting ready for the past 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so I did my first show six weeks, starting from six weeks training, mm -hmm. and then my second show, t seven weeks, and that's the one who qualified me to do the national yeah. one here in Houston. So it's 10 weeks, uh, an average of four to five hours per week of cardio. And with Monica, she's very, very specific about she the cardio, is. Oh my which goodness. is very, very interesting to see how, according to the cardio that you do, and of course, the intensity mm -hmm. and the consistency, your body will transform as how you really want it to yeah. transform. Yeah. And for bikini, we're looking on a specific type of body, uh, very natural, very feminine, very uh, curvy, um, but at the same time, very soft, not as much as muscle, mm -hmm. but they like the tightness of the muscle without as much as the lines, which is a very fine line between being too muscular as a figure girl mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, or too soft as just anybody that will put on bikini. I've seen some of these figure <laughs> girls walking mm -hmm. around in there, and it's like, excuse me, would you ride in my trunk and I won't need a spare tire? <laughs> you know, because you can just pick up the car for me. <laughs> so I do um, about uh, four to five hours of cardio per week, mm -hmm. and in addition to training about three to four times with Monica. Yeah. Um, also, in addition to that, I do ab exercises mm -hmm. um, about three to four times a week, in but exercises for the glutes um, sure. as yeah. well about four times a week. Yeah. And it, it pays off. And by the way, uh, ladies and gentlemen might not realize this, but Mo uh, Monica, Priscilla has, what, a two-and-a-half-year-old? A, a two-and-a-half-year-old yeah. daughter. So you've had a beautiful baby. Thank and you. And now back into competitive shape mm -hmm. with the help of Monica and the folks at FIT. And I, that's a huge, huge compliment both to you for your drive and for the talents of Monica and the staff at FIT Athletic, I believe. And believe it or not, for my little one, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she will be exercising the same as I Does do. She 
she really? Yes. Your little two-year-old does that. <laughs> does she? Does she have like like baby hand weights and stuff? And um, she she does have her little. Uh, jump rope. But they <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. By the way, uh, something that Fit uh, Athletic is involved in uh, peripherally tonight is going to be an, a night of the arts at the sanctuary. And we've talked about the sanctuary. It's over on Washington there in the, in the Washington corridor. Uh, tonight, there's going to be a fitness model fashion show. Uh, some tattoo arts, some videographers, uh, some print artists, all going to be out there at sanctuary. I believe Courtney West and uh, Hillary Hagner are involved in this, and will be out there tonight. I think there's there's going to be a, a booth there for Fit Athletic if you want to drop by at the sanctuary this evening. And, and I believe it starts around ten o'clock, which uh -huh. is way past my bedtime. I'm, <laughs> uh, you're going to have to take notes for me on that. <laughs> that's my past my bedtime too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's mm, not going to happen for me. But if <laughs> if you're out and about and you want to do that, now Priscilla is is more than just uh, a client. Priscilla is also educated in nutrition and dietetics, and has been working on some uh, uh, some research into uh, some Hispanic women and the obesity challenges in that particular cohort of the of the demographic. And uh, when we come back from the break, I really want to talk about that and how you are integrating what you know as a dietitian into what you do when you're working out at Fit Athletic with Monica Isles. Because I'm just thinking, going out on a limb here, there's probably a connection. There certainly <laughs> is. You think? <laughs> <laughs> there certainly is. You've got to watch what you eat just, li just like you watch what you do when you're working out. Yeah. Pot. 713 <laughs> <laughs> is the number for you to call if you have a fitness question or comment. We'd love to hear from you. This is Stephen Kay. I'm Brent Clanton, and we're going to sick Priscilla on Stephen, dietetically speaking, when we come back. What's wrong with my fruit salad <laughs> oh, breakfast? Oh, for the first time in about a month, too. <laughs> it's a 16 fast on the Talk 650 Morning Show, powered by CBS Radio. Thank you. 